His Excellency John Ramu Pinay, Foreign Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. I have the honor of receiving my good friend and the Chair of ASEAN, the Foreign Minister of Thailand, His Excellency John Ramu Pinay, here in Jakarta today. We have discussed various issues related to ASEAN cooperation since Thailand is currently Chair of ASEAN, broader regional issues as well as the bilateral relation between Indonesia and Thailand. First, let me start by reiterating once more Indonesia's support to Thailand chairmanship in ASEAN this year. I have visited Bangkok December last year before Thailand started her chairmanship to express Indonesia's support and discuss some issues of ASEAN concern. Second, during this meeting, during the today's meeting, both of us discussed two important issues related to ASEAN. First is the situation in Rakhine State, and then the second one is the development of the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. On Rakhine State, today, 13 March, the preliminary need assessment team of ASEAN will complete its mission in Myanmar. Both of us welcome very much this mission and looking forward to hearing the briefing through the Secretary General of ASEAN. The deployment of need assessment team of ASEAN, of course, is a follow-up of the ASEAN meeting, ASEAN summit in uh, Singapore in November 2018, as well as the ASEAN Foreign Minister's retreat in Chiang Mai in January 2019. And both of us are really looking forward to follow up the mission of the preliminary team by the deployment of the comprehensive need assessment team of ASEAN. On the Indo-Pacific uh, concept, Indonesia is so grateful with the full support of Thailand as chair of ASEAN. We welcome the ASEAN text on Indo-Pacific outlook as proposed by the ASEAN SOM meeting in Bangkok early this month. Indonesia looks forward to continuing our good collaboration with Thailand uh, on the development of the Indo-Pacific cooperation. And for your information that Indonesia will host a high-level dialogue on Indo-Pacific cooperation in Jakarta on the 20th of March 2019. 18 countries will be invited. And this high-level dialogue will serve as a platform to strengthen cooperation and trust building in the discussion of the Indo-Pacific cooperation. Third is on the bilateral note, the bilateral uh, cooperation. Next year will be the uh, 70 years of the diplomatic relation between Indonesia and Thailand. And we look forward to organizing joint events to commemorate this special event. We also take note on the recent investment made by Gojek Indonesia in Thailand under the name of GET. Chat. Indonesia, of course, seek kind support and facilitation from Thai government for Indonesia investment in Thailand. Still on the bilateral cooperation, Indonesia express um, one issue that is over the instability of global price of rubber. Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia are top global exporters of rubber. So Indonesia convey that we need to strengthen our cooperation and action to stabilize the price of rubber as we are most impacted by any price uh, draw. And finally, of course, I express Indonesia sincere hope for the smooth organization of your general election uh, on the 24th of March and the coronation of 
King Maha Faji Ralongkorn that's scheduled in uh, May. So thank you very much, uh, Minister. Thank you. Good day to you all. Um, I wish I could say ditto, 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 you know, on what uh, was uh, shared to you by uh, Mr. Uh, Redno Masudi. Uh, it was certainly a very pleasant uh, uh, discussion we had. I, I would go to, to the final point and then back, backwards to uh, the points of discussion. Uh, yes, we would have be, be having a 24th of uh, March election in ba Bangkok, in Thailand. Not Bangkok, but in Thailand. Uh, we have already had the overseas uh, uh, votes cast uh, here in Jakarta uh, last week. Um, I certainly would like to extend the congratulations in advance to um, uh, Tunisia for the 17th of April uh, election. Uh, on the 70th anniversary of Thai uh, Indonesia uh, anniversary, uh, we certainly will be very, very happy to uh, jointly undertake uh, some uh, uh, events or activities. The presence of Indonesia in, in Thailand is is for you who haven't been to, to Thailand before, uh, I hope that you could find the opportunity to visit uh, uh, the area which we call CBD, the Central Business District, a uh, very famous one uh, on Pitchbury Road, uh, where the embassy is located. A very renowned place, a very prestigious site uh, of uh, Indonesia uh, representation here in Thailand. Uh, the place where Indonesia has always been placed uh, placing importance uh, when it comes to representation overseas, I could recall uh, several of the very renowned uh, diplomats of uh, Indonesia had, had their very early assignment uh, in life in Bangkok. For example, like uh, Ali Alatas, you know, he was in Bangkok uh, to start off his career as a press secretary, for example. Now, the issues we discuss here, uh, both multilateral and, 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 and bilateral, has been very, very fruitful. I couldn't agree more that uh, we have covered just about every uh, point in, uh, in all these areas, particularly the, the issue that affect our region. Um, I just came back from Myanmar, let, let's put it this way, uh, on the 8th of uh, this month. And uh, it's a good opportunity to share with um, uh, colleagues, Minister uh, Redno, you know, of my findings and how we could uh, together move uh, in the name of ASEAN, you know, on this issue along with the, the Indo-Pacific uh, uh, issue. Uh, uh, we also compare notes on other uh, issues like uh, uh, South China Sea and, 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 and uh, Korean Peninsula. Uh, we hope that we would continue these exchanges uh, uh, like what had taken us to meet uh, before we embarked on the chairmanship uh, last December. Uh, we know that uh, there are a lot uh, uh, for us to uh, jointly undertake to uh, bring uh, us in, uh, to the forefront uh, and enhance the centrality of us in, and uh, last but not least but to uh, put away all the, uh, the, the nagging issues uh, which affect our regions for peace and prosperity of Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific. Uh, I'd like again, once again, to uh, reiterate uh, that ASEAN has moved on with uh, the preliminary 
assessment team in Myanmar and to be followed very, very soon by the comprehensive uh, assessment team. Uh, so ASEAN is there and ASEAN will be seen uh, very much there in uh, offering our hands uh, to our friends Myanmar, the member of ASEAN family. And we are uh, very positive, uh, with great confidence that all things uh, ahead of us will be uh, cleared up, uh, uh, if not soon, but uh, in, in the future, uh, with certainly the support of our people in our two countries. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.